Uh, so, um, so yeah, just had to uh, make a quick video with those uh, phrases that we did. And just keep it in mind as well that these are just, you know, uh, a few of, you know, an endless amount of phrases you could do with the pentatonic scale. So, so as always, you know, it's always a good idea before you start to just do the scale itself a couple of times. So just all the way up. Oh, drop D here. All right, so we're going, so with the, pick, with the picking, it's down, up on the way down, but then up, down on the way back up, right? So we're down, up, down, up, and up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, and as well, don't forget to do it, you know, up the fretboard as well. So maybe, you know, let's say B minor. What's going on here? Whatever. Um, so... 7th fret, then it's the same thing, up by 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, alright? And just up and down, up and back, up and back, and you know, if for nothing else, it's just really, it's a good exercise for dexterity, um, being aware of where you are, you know, sort of what string is this, you know, you know, because a lot of the time, yeah, you get confused exactly which string you're on on the on the pick. You know, that's natural. So, so that kind of helps out with that as well. So, so we'll just do first phrase was third fret first string third fret. Okay, that's annoying me. One second. Let's get some extra light from here. Oh, that's a bit different. All right. So we've got third fret pull off up to the open, third fret on this string, pull off to the open, and then the slide up. So we've... And so remember, just avoid this. So if, if you're doing the pull off this quick, then it's got to be, right? All of it has to be that quick, right? So... All right, so then the next one, is second fret pull off, second fret pull off, third fret pull off, okay? With an E minor on the end of it, okay? And just remember, da, 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 do, do. so those, this one is twice as long as these two, okay? So then the other one we did was, so we're starting off here, third fret on the B string. into the shot here so we're going third fret pull off up on the G string second fret down on the open B then we come back up onto that G pull off and then up on the second fret of the D string Okay, so then we went up the fretboard to D minor, so that's the 10th fret. Now you can pretty much, uh, uh, D minor is about as high as you can go on your guitar. I, I can go a bit higher with the cutaway, but most acoustic guitars don't have that. So, so we'll stick to D minor. So that was... Okay, so we've got the pull off there. So the scale, first of all, just to establish it and just know exactly where you're going. All right, so we're going, so it's similar to this one down here, only looks different because you have to hold down the bottom ones as well. So we're going pick on the 13th fret, then pull off down to the 10th. So then, so the same exact move with the last one, down, pull off, up, up on the G string, down on the B string. Then we've got that bend bring it back down 10th fret on the G and then end it with the 12th fret on the D so okay it's so that one then we had well you can give the bends a go on the acoustic if you like 
but they're quite, they're a lot tougher. So you can always do that. So again, it's just the two top strings of the scale. So that means it's three frets apart. So 13 to 10, pull off, pull off again. So there's another one. Then we went down to A minor. So fifth fret. Okay, so that was a nice simple one. So we're barring these two, the D and the G, hammering on, and again, and then barring the last three strings, or the first three strings, I should say, and just doing that. All right. Um, that was it, I think. I may be leaving one out, but still, you, you get the idea. Um, so use the scale to so you know where you're going and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, you know what notes are available to you. Then you can kind of combine all that with hammer-ons, pull-offs, and you just kind of make a phrase um, out of it. And, you know, the more you do it, you know, the better you get at it. It's a bit, it's a lot different from chords, obviously. But, you know, you can make something happen with it, you know. And so as not to be worrying about, you know, holding these, the bottom uh, notes down the whole time. Just switch it back down to the E minor one. And just explore it. Just just wander about and you do get better after. Uh, and it becomes a lot more fun as well when you get more comfortable like that. Uh, so yeah, just take those phrases, kind of get comfortable with those and then just kind of doodle about with it. Something like that anyway. All right, I'll see you next week.